All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth in all truth and in sincerity. From the Mad Ariyat from the Mississippi camp, Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. And through the Spirit, Lord willing, this is going to be a quick lesson to the point. The title of this lesson is going to be A Spiritual Broken Record is Necessary. A Spiritual Broken Record is Necessary. Because in this truth, man, hey, we have to continue to preach this gospel repetitively, man. So a lot of the same scriptures are going to come out amongst the brothers. You know, a lot of the same points are going to be made, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit from the brothers. Start from our apostles and elders on down, man. And see, and starting with the apostles, their, their teachings, we, we adopted that, man, through the spirit. And we've learned from those great men. You know, and, and we take what we've learned from them through the spirit and, and we continue on in the true doctrine, teaching the congregation, man. You know, preaching and teaching to the flock, to the nation of Israel, man, to bring in the elect through the spirit of Yahweh. So it's necessary to be a broken record in this truth, man. Because, you know, you, you can't reach one person where, where you can't reach people. Just preaching one time or one uh, scripture every, a different scripture every time you teach it, man, or, or speaking. So, so and the spirit is not going to allow that because the scripture speaks on, you know, going through the spirit, man, with the scriptures here a little, there a little. Okay. Precept upon precept, you know, line upon line. Roughly paraphrasing, not exactly say it like that, but, you know, that's how we're supposed to do it, man. The, the, the spirit guides us through the scriptures to bring it together, to break down and have a clear uh, uh, understanding and picture of what uh, the scripture is speaking of. So so we have to be a broken record, man. And brothers have said, you know, I done heard Newman's brother say, you know, I know I sound like a broken record or we sound like a broken record. Right, because we are broken records. We're spiritual broken records, man. The song is the same. It's on repeat. But it has to keep playing that way to reach everyone that the Lord intends to get this message. You know? So I'm going to get a few scriptures here and I'm going to close it out. We're going to start in the book of John, chapter 21, starting in verse 15. So when they had the dying... Yahweh Shai said, say to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, love, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my lambs. Verse 16, he said to him again, the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Feed my sheep. So, so Yahweh Shai is saying repetitively to Simon Peter, man, asking him, does he love him? And when Simon responded that he does, he said, feed my sheep. So we have to do the same thing in this truth, man. We love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're feeding the sheep, man. And we can't just do that one time. You just can't go on the highways and byways and preach this uh, gospel one time and it's done. You can't do it. This is a, a repetitive cycle until that famine of the word comes. Our apostles and elders been doing it 
for decades, man. Brothers have been doing this for years. All from, from the top, Stone Pilot to Heart, all the way down to the smallest brother, man. Whether it's been uh, uh, weeks, months, or a year. Once you take that, uh, once that, once you're given that job application or that position for that job you've been called to do, hey, you pray to the Lord that you better continue, man. But that job continues on. It's gonna be a repetitive cycle until you are uh, 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 the Lord pull us off the highway and byway, or until you know we deliver. But it don't stop. It don't quit. Okay. If, if you get hired for a job, never done it before, let's just say you are uh, um, have to stack boxes in a particular tier, right? Just stacking the boxes up in a particular fashion. If you do that one time, you're not going to have it down packed. You have to continue to do it repetitively, man. To get it, to be, become a master at it, to become good at it, and to keep your job. It's a constant repetitive cycle. That's just like this truth, man. We come in this truth, you know, we, we become uh, uh, um, parents, say the, as uh, uh, apostles always say, we, we hear and we repeat. We hear and repeat. And then from that point, we start growing. We start studying. We start reading. We start uh, getting breakdowns correctly, man. Iron sharpening iron through uh, elder brothers, you know, brothers who are more seasoned. And we continue to grow. We get better in this truth through the spirit, man. And we still doing what? Singing the same song. We just have a better vocal, if you will. We just get better at it. And that's all through the spirit. You how about shimmy out shot? But we're going to continue to sing the same song. Regardless, we sound like a broken record because it's necessary. Okay. Let me get another scripture here. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, reprove rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. How can we continue to do that if we if this if this we don't fold the be repetitive if we're not bringing out certain precepts, certain scriptures constantly, you know, over, over the period of time, over the period of time, the same scriptures is going to come out. Cause you got scriptures that come out and count man two or three times. If that's what the spirit want, that's just what the spirit going to get. That's just how this thing go. You know, th let's, let's think about it. Let's, let's, let's use this uh, scenario. If, if if say say um let's say your father right your earthly father he has to be at work at three o'clock he tells you to wake him up at twelve so he can get to work right so twelve o'clock come you go in there you're trying to wake your pops up you shaking him you shaking him you know how you do a person to wake him up wake up wake up. You talk about the time you go to work, you told me to wake you up at 12, wake up. And you know, if a person in deep sleep, they'll, they'll, they'll wake up a little bit. They'll start drifting off again. You will shake them and wake them up. And they'll, they'll finally raise up, right? And get up. And that's a part of this truth, what we're doing, man. Because people, our people are in a deep sleep. So we repetitively and constantly repeat these precepts as the Lord wants us to. To eventually, whoever the Lord is dealing with, they hear this word. They hear it the first time. It may not, you know, they might hear it. It may go over the head a little bit. They might hear it that second time, you know, it might catch their interest. That third time, they may decide to really get into this thing, start paying more attention, you know. And that's what we're supposed to do. So back to the scenario, waking your father up. If you waking him up, and he gets up. And then he go brush his teeth. You know, do whatever you need to do, get dressed, and he goes sit back on the bed and fall asleep. And when he wake up, it's three o'clock, the time he's supposed to be at work. That's his fault. He can't do nothing or say nothing to you about that, man. 
because you did what you're supposed to do. He chose to go back to sleep. So with this gospel, it's the same thing. We repetitively teach this gospel to wake up and bring in the Lord's elect. And if, if the Lord's elect or the man that's called that particular time, he's in his truth, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He got his hand to the plow, you know. But, you know, if he start looking back and he take his hands off the plow and go back into the world, then that blood is off our hands. We ain't got, we, we, hey, we did what we supposed to do. We did what we supposed to do. Just like the example of the son waking up his father to go to work, he did what his father told him to do. So the father chose, his dad chose to go back to sleep. That's on him that he's going to be late for work. You know? So we repetitively teach this word to the people, man. Because the Lord, that's what he instructed us to do. He did it with who? Jeremiah, Ezekiel, you know, uh, Timothy, you know, to go out and speak to the children of Israel, telling the children of Israel to hearken to the word. He tell them to speak into the ear of uh, uh, his people, man. You know, so that's what we're doing. We, he's telling us to warn the people, sound the trumpet, okay? Because a repetitive action gets results. And that's what we do. So who we don't give a damn about if we people say we talk about the same thing. Y'all talk about the same thing. Y'all sound like a broken record. Good. Good. Therefore, you have no fucking excuse. Because we're saying the same thing through the Spirit of God by Shimmy Out Shot over and over again, man. Start from my apostles and elders on down. We get another scripture. We're going into the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 33, starting at verse 3. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow up the trumpet and warned the people. And this is what we're doing by preaching this gospel, going on the highways and byways, making our bodies deliver sacrifice, you know, doing our videos. You know, this is what the Lord ordered us to do, man. And we're warning the people. We're telling the people of the prophecies that are coming to pass, man. We're telling the Lord through the spirit of the Habashim Yahshua. The Lord told us to warn the people and we're letting them know that, hey, bad times are coming. Evil times are coming, man. Yahweh Shai's getting ready to return. This devil's getting ready to come down with that great wrath. Jacob's trouble is right around the corner, man. Famine, pestilence. You know, straight up, hey, as the scripture says, it's going to be a time like never before with the nation. Man, it's going to be horrible, man. It's going to be unimaginably terrifying, the things that are going to be going on throughout the earth, man. The scripture said man's heart shall fail them. Because the things they're going to see happening on the earth. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, and so the Lord has set up prophets to warn the people, man. To warn the nation of Israel and to condemn the heathens, man. Verse 4. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So, so... If, 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 if you don't want to take this word to heart, if you don't want to hearken to it, if you don't want to believe, you know, and I'm, I'm just speaking on individual people of the world. Y'all you know, know brothers, man, hey, brothers in this thing, man. Brothers in it to win it. You know, and I'll be right that, hey, brother who doing this thing, man, who's doing this truth in name of Habashim Yasha, hey, that we're delivered, man. Okay? But those who don't in this world, who don't want to, you know, put this word off and and humble themselves, repent, and come back to the heavenly Father and the Son. Hey, it's gonna be, it's, hey, it's gonna be, hey, it's bad. It's gonna be bad for you. That's all I can say. Verse five. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So, hey, flat out nutshell. If you don't want to listen, if you don't want to believe, hey, you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be just. It's going to, again, it's just going to be bad, man. Those concentration camps is going to be very, very terrifying, especially for you, you Israelites, okay? Verse 6, but the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. If the sword come, 
and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will require, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. And who are the watchmen? The prophets, man. The Lord's men. The Lord's the leg, Abarat the Zah, we're those men. You know, we're we're standing on our watch. We're warning the people. We're we're prophesying through the spirit of Habashim Yahshah. We're keeping over current events and, and, and uh, uh breaking it out, clarifying it through the scriptures, man. All right? And and yeah, we sound again, yeah, we sound like a broken record. But what good is a watchman if when trouble comes for the first time he blow the trumpet? But the but the next time that trouble coming, he don't blow the trumpet. What's the point? That's a repetitive job. I don't give a damn. If if, if the trouble didn't come, the trouble come the first time, but it, it's it's a month, two months, three months, a year later before more trouble come. You know, when that when that second wave of trouble come, he's still about to blow that goddamn horn. All right. Because between those two time periods, things are still going on. So we ain't taking no time off. We blowing the trumpet. We steady warning the people. We blowing the trumpet. We steady, steady warning the people. Like that broken record, man. And that's part of the job description. So a spiritual broken record is necessary, man. It could actually save your life. If you will. Okay. So, hey, this is just a uh, quick lesson through the spirit, man. Hey, hey, and Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.